what's up you guys, Sambo here, welcome back to Sammy Vostok. Now today, we're gonna build a new airport. So a lot of you did suspect that this airport wasn't working correctly well. The thing is, the cargo sh part works, but the passenger one does not work. So we need to find a new area. Now, the area that we are going to use is all the way right up the other end, all the way up here. So it's a long way away. I actually spent some time off camera trying to find an area that will actually work. So I put down an airport in a few different areas and just waited and just waited to see if it would actually work. So I finally found one in a suitable area. So let's get into building. Okay, so first of all, this is this is going to be the area right here. So it's up near the farm areas and I just wanted to elevate it up a little bit because it is right near the river. So if the river floods, um, I don't want it to impact the airport. So I did place it down to make sure it's working and it does. Thank God it works. So we're just going to be putting down one very, very simple little basic long airport. I'm sure you guys were expecting some kind of huge, big, like crazy airport, but if you guys want to know what my inspiration was, it's actually from the Hobart airport. So if you have a look at that, you, you, you might notice some things if you watch this video. So anyway, okay, so we're doing a pedestrian walkway right along the front because I don't want lots of cars right there when everyone gets out from the terminal. I don't want there to be 10 million cars. So I want it to be firstly pedestrian and then parking and then all of the cars everywhere. So I'm going to put down a little bit of a lake here because I wanted to separate the flat terrain area versus the real steep area and also separate the more manicured versus just the, the forest, you know what I mean? So, and it's nice to do something a little bit different and I know that it's, it's kind of odd that maybe how I have this little lake here, even though it's right next to the river, but I mean, it actually turns out really, really good. I just think it, yeah, it just fits in really well. So we're going to do one really long terminal here. You can see that I put in the, the train station right there. So of course, it's really, really important to have that train station there um, because there is, <laughs> trust me, there's a lot of people. You just wait, you guys. Wait till you get towards the end of the video. Oh, oh my God, the amount of people. And the, the reason why I had so many people was, was because the budget was up at about 150%. And oh, that's a lot of people coming in. But anyway, anyway, I wanted to put in a train line and there's also going to be a bus line. And that's the only thing. And since we are way out in the, the farm areas, we can't really put too much other public transport. So we can't put in a subway because it's too far. We can't put in the monorail because it would look out of place. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to do a blimp, by the way. <laughs> Definitely not a blimp because that would be completely overloaded, not very good at all. So putting in two train lines, even though only one is going to be used, actually no, I end up putting in two train lines, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so we're going to put the bus line at the back. So I didn't want the bus line to go right up in between everything. I wanted it to bypass all the parking. I didn't want it to interfere with all of the pedestrian areas. So you'll notice all of the pedestrians don't actually have to cross the bus line. And a lot of all of the other cars don't have to cross the bus line as well. So I wanted to keep them separate. So in the other airport that I did in this map, I used a lot of multi-level parking lots, but I'm not going to do that because they don't really get utilized that much and they are quite big and clunky. So I'm just going to go with um, just normal parking lots on the ground. Now you'll notice I put in that little connection right there. That connection is for when all of the people come out of the terminal, they can use that as a crossing to get from obviously the terminal side and then to the other side, which is where all of the parking lots and the road access is going to be. I don't have the pedestrian maker mod. I did used to have it, but it was, it was kind of laggy. So I didn't really want to use that anyway. So yeah, I had to do that little connection and um, there is going to be some greenery amongst the parking lots. Not too much. The parking lots are going to be pretty huge. Just letting you guys know, but um, actually after I finished recording all of this, I went back and had a look at the game and the parking lots were actually becoming really, really busy and full and it looked so good. I, I should have gone back and recorded all of this again, but I couldn't be bothered because I ran out of time basically. But yeah, three different parking lots there. One really big one, um, two medium sized ones. And then in between the parking lots is where the green space is going to be because I don't want just one huge big parking lot. That looks a bit ugly, a bit boring. So breaking it up just to make it a little bit more 
interesting. Now I'm putting this one down, even though it doesn't have any trees, but I do fiddle around with that. And the look of it that I wanted is some kind of just kind of odd. So I don't, I didn't want there to be like every three meters there's a tree. I wanted it to be a little bit odd and a little bit unusual. So and that, it, it turned out good, but I ended up putting in uh, a few more different trees as well. One thing that I should point out to you guys, the the terminal and the train station, they do have parking lots. Now, I like I said at the start of the video, in front of all of those buildings are pedestrian roads, so there's not really going to be any cars. So I do end up uh, covering all of those parking lots on the buildings with the planters and trees so you can't actually see them. So just wanted to point that out. So we've got two different little access points to go in, um, just putting that little connection there so the people can, I guess, walk into the parking lot area. And then just to finish up this awkward little space, I just wanted to put in some, that's, I think that's a car dealership there. That's the taxi depot, so I thought it's good to have the taxi right there just in case. Uh, but generally, I don't think they even use the taxi <laughs> throughout my city. Actually, throughout any city, I don't think they use the taxi. So I'm like, mm, what's the point of having it then if no one's going to use it? Ugh. Oh well, but I thought, let's just have it anyway, since we don't have too many public transport options, only the bus and the train out there, so. And then this road here, ugh, it was starting to get a bit congested, so I'm thinking maybe in the next episode, I should redo all of this, so it'll be basically um, fixing up airport traffic road, because it does get a little bit congested, so I just put in that bus line, so that congests the road even more. A lot of them start to use the train, but ugh. My god, the train, oh, it gets so overloaded. You wait and see, you guys. It is absolutely crazy. Uh, I just pull out the existing train line. So the train line that I put in is the one that goes all the way from, obviously, this point from the airport now and goes all the way down to the other side of the map where that big shopping center is. So it becomes really, really busy, that train line. Also, just quickly, that bus line I put in, it basically bypasses everything. So there's only two stops. So there's one stop at the airport, and then the second stop is right in the little town. I forget what it's called, but it goes right into the town center where the trains and the tram is, just to make it a little bit easier. All right, so at this point, we've done most of it, but look at how many people are coming out it is absolutely crazy but they're all going straight out and then straight into here but look look how many people there are there are what 9,000 people waiting I believe or is it 5,000 I can't see, I can't see it right now it's really squished on the screen but it was either 9,000 or 5,000 absolutely crazy really really packed so what I forgot to do I, I forgot to add in more trains because all I did was added a extra stop to, the, to an existing train line, but I forgot to add in more to handle that extra flow of people. So I end up adding in a whole bunch, and then this is when I add in a second line. So this second line, it bypasses that little station right there and comes to here. So this, I put it here because this is a mini transport hub. So you have the funicular train, you have um, the tram, you have the monorail buses, and it's a really central area as well. So I thought definitely I should put that in. Not too many because, not too many trains because we don't want to congest up the existing train line. But yeah, and then of course, finishing it off, we're putting putting in the Semi Vostok SMV sign. So that's kind of like symbolic. I saw that from the other airport and then just lowering the budget. All right, you guys, so there it is. Nothing too big. Like I said, inspiration was taken from the Hobart Airport, which is just one long terminal with parking lots in front of it. It's really, 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 really simple. But look at all those people. Oh, my God, so many people. And like I said, the parking lot does become really utilized. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys that in the next video. Unfortunately, not many of them use the bus. I don't know why. Some of them literally prefer to walk. So I'm like, what are you doing? That like, you have a perfect bus there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe the bus is too slow. I'm thinking maybe I should do an elevated bus line that goes to this the city and I don't know, just maybe just to see. But do you guys ha know how to remove that? 
all of these annoying little bunch ups of cars. I don't know how to get rid of that. It's really, really annoying. I did work it out before, but I cannot remember how to fix it again. So if someone could let me know, that would be, that would be really, really great. Anyway, let's leave it all here. There's so many planes coming in. Some of them are overlapping. Some of them are running into each other. But that's all right. Doesn't really matter. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. And um, definitely I'm happy with this new airport. Let me know. I know it's basic, but it's good. I like it. It does its job. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you all later.